in 1972 in an experiment called The Limits to Growth, an international panel of statisticians looked into the future of the planet. Instead of a crystal ball, they used a computer. They programmed in predictions of population expansion and economic activity. The results were shocking. Our book, Limits to Growth, was the first concrete effort using a computer to look at trends that unfold over decades, even a century. We were trying to understand long-term physical demands on the planet. And in the 70s, we were thinking that probably in the period 2010 to 2030 was when the planet would start to encounter limits. And that when you hit the limits, the tendency is to overshoot them and collapse, not to even out in a nice orderly fashion. The book was officially released in March of 1972, and the inaugural event was a press conference in Washington, D.C. The book was rather quickly translated into 35 languages and sold millions. It was a phenomenon. From a very large number of computer runs, making various assumptions, ad adopting various maxima and minima, there is in fact a general forecast of a breakdown of world society in the first decades of the next century. Here is what Dr. Meadows' computer shows. Since the year 1900, the Earth's resources there at the top of the chart have been steadily used up as population, food consumption, and production of goods have soared. Ahead of us, sometime after the year 2000, this computer study foresees calamity. Resources drop more steeply, and food and production follow suit. Population continues to expand for perhaps one more generation, then collapses calamitously as deprivation takes hold. The limits to growth suggested the world faced a stark choice cut down waste or face imminent global collapse. 